Hi, um, this is just going to be a short video. It's uh, not on the usual theme of my YouTube page as it has been so far. Uh, it's just a little point of interest really. It's something I've been looking at for the last few months, um, trying to find the best way to buy a good value two and a half inch hard drive. Uh, two terabytes was about the size I was looking for. So I've discovered um, just through other websites and uh, other YouTube videos that uh, this is one of the ways to get a good value drive for um, cheaper than the internal equivalent. This is um, uh, Seagate expansion. So another reason why I decided to do this video, seeing as there are a few up on YouTube already, is that most of the other people that have put similar things up haven't really given you much details about the uh, drive that they get out of the uh, caddy. In this case, I will um, give you some uh, detailed specs, so um, I will do that after I have uh, opened it. There's the box. Got this uh, on Amazon, and uh, as I was saying before, the uh, Amazon price, around £60, obviously that's going to change on a daily basis almost, um, was about £60 per drive. Um, and that comes at uh, between 20 and 30, maybe even up to 40 or 50 pounds less than online prices. I was looking at for equivalent uh, capacity drive, i.e. two terabytes, um, but just as an OEM internal drive. And um, when you think about it, it's pretty crazy that uh, you can save that much money by buying uh, a drive in a portable caddy coming pre-installed but you can um, I've seen some reasons for why this is people say that uh, they are kind of second-class drives maybe drives that work but uh, in the factory didn't reach minimum spec it, during tests so they shove them in uh, in a portable caddy um, fair enough I don't actually need uh, don't need top speed for this drive it's going to be an archive drive I'm not too fussed as long as it works. I'm not I'm not too fussed about getting top rate USB 3 speeds. So as long as it works, then uh, it's all good. On the box, it's got the uh, capacity, which is two terabyte for this one. The name, kind of vague naming convention they have for these things, which makes them hard to look up sometimes. This one's just described as Seagate Expansion Portable Drive. So I'm just going to open it up. Yeah. Multi-language instructions there. Not a lot of information in it. Other than uh, a URL for warranty. And you get a USB 3 cable, not very long. This is the drive. Very simple drive. One USB port on the back, and that's your lot. So, I'm going to uh, attempt to get this open. I've got a kind of credit card type thing here, which I've seen other people recommend. There's a seam along the top here. So I'm going to get my fingernail in there. Just enough to prise it, prise it up just enough to get the credit card in instead. And then just kind of slide it. And you can hear, as you slide it along there, you get that sound. Might have to do this a couple of times. I'm getting there though. So that's one edge. And let's just work around to get another edge done. Another edge done, and don't be too hasty. I'm just going to uh, pry 
always it around another edge. So there you go, pretty easy. Now I have broken a couple of the little clips here, but only two. They're quite thin. There's a lot of other clips around here, which are still intact. And there's the drive, which just pops right out. And it's as easy as that. Now you've got these little rubber rubber grommets covering the uh, some mounting screws which are in there. Obviously they give some shock protection inside the case. Um, there's some silver foil, probably some kind of anti-static foil I would guess, which comes off very easily. So you could reuse that to keep it. It's quite easy to tear these bits here. I've been careful there not to tear that, so that's reusable. And you've got the uh, circuit board converting from SATA to USB, which luckily is not glued in. You can just carefully prise that off. And then you've got one perfectly usable 2.5 inch hard drive. Um, now I will uh, put a few pictures at the end of this video just to give you some of the details off there which is something I'm always interested in, model numbers and what have you, so I'll stick that in on the end of the video. Well, that's it, that's how easy it is. I'll put that to one side, so theoretically, I haven't tried this myself yet, but um, the parts that you're left over with, perfectly reusable. You've got the, I haven't even used the cable, haven't opened that, don't need to right now. But you've got this board here, this SATA board to USB. You get the USB 3 cable. Very simple case here, perfectly reusable I'd imagine. So you could use this to uh, further down the line as a uh, caddy for another drive. Or you could put that one back in. Um, so I'd say it's great value when you think about it for less than the price of uh, an internal the internal version of this drive or the nearest equivalent you're getting the drive and a reusable caddy drive caddy setup with the board for uh, 20 or 30 pounds less than the equivalent sized Seagate drive So other than just for uh, information, one of the other reasons I decided to make this video was because um, most of the other YouTube clips I've seen don't really go into a lot of detail in the specifics of what drive you actually get in these caddies. They show you how to take them out and they just say, there you go, there's the drive, chuck it over there. And I've always been thinking, well, I want to know what the drive actually is so I can see how much it costs individually, find out what the specs are. I will just flash up a close up of the sticker now. So I looked up the model number ST2000LM007 and these are the specs I got online. It is 7mm thick which uh, looks correct to me. It's SATA 3 6 gigabits per second, 5400 RPM and um, 128 megabytes cache. So um, perfectly good specs for, for what I wanted and I have saved myself uh, a good percentage of the cost of uh, an equivalent drive as an internal drive. I don't have a PS4 myself, but um, I've seen a lot of the reasons people are getting these good value drives is uh, for a PS4 to increase the capacity of their PS4 drive. I don't see any reason why you couldn't use this for that. And just to finish off, the reason I got this, um, I actually bought two of these, was uh, to go in a RAID mirrored set with a, with a caddy I have just bought about the same time, which was also extremely good value approximately um, £25 
uh, mailed from the US. So um, I will do a follow-up video when I've installed these in the caddy. And I'll give you a bit of information on that caddy, um, where you can get that. So um, keep an eye on this channel. And I'll give you a tip on how you can get a uh, USB 3 external drive with a RAID, with a mirrored RAID configuration for an extremely good price. Thanks for watching.